This is the plaintiff, Steven Silverberg. He says he purchased a commercial printer from the defendant on eBay, paid the man in full, but never got the printer. The guy refunded his money, all right, but he wanted the printer because he got it at a really good price. Now he's forced to go out and buy a different one for 900 bucks. So that's what he's suing for today. This is the defendant, Lewis Kaplan. He says he realized the printer was actually broken after he made the sale to the plaintiff. So he did what he thought was the right thing to do and refunded his money in full. The plaintiff began harassing him, even threatened him, which is downright crazy because he did nothing wrong. And he thinks the judge will agree. He's accused of copping out on a copier. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff bought a commercial printer on eBay, but says it never showed up. The defendant says the printer turned out to be broken, so he refunded the guy's money. It's the case of you and your ink stink. Thank you, Douglas. You're okay, in. Stephen Silverberg. Yes. You are suing Lewis Kaplan for $900, the cost of a new printer, because according to you, he inappropriately breached a contract to sell you a printer on eBay? That's correct, Your Okay, Honor. what happened? So, um, <clears throat> around February, uh, schools are soliciting for donations for auctions. So, it was a snowy, typical February day, and I'm sitting, <laughs> what a shock. <laughs> it was and, and I'm a sitting, stormy, stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting home with my kids on the computer, and perusing eBay, and I had done some research. Yeah, we're not on, really with our kids when we're on the computer, but okay. That's what we like to tell that to ourselves, you know? It's, it's better <laughs> than YouTube. Ahead. They're in the proximity. <laughs> go ahead, they're in the same so, zip code. We're sitting and doing it, and I had researched this particular printer, because they know that the schools, if the school ends up keeping it, it's better for the school also, so they can't lose. Either they sell it for more money and and make money, and the school keeps it, or the school keeps it. Is it a commercial the printer? printer? It I is. mean, I, well, by commercial, it's just it's more heavy duty. Let me explain. Um, most printers, if they're inkjets, you have to keep running back to a, a store and replacing them, and it's twenty, thirty dollars a pop. Yeah. This. It's the ink, not the printer. Right. Yeah. It's the ink, not the printer. This is a more expensive printer. But it, it was very highly rated, and you buy one jumbo cartridge, it's a toner, and it lasts for like 20,000 copies. Right. So this was perfect for them or for anybody who had a business that wanted to Okay, raise so money. you're bidding on the item because he is advertising it. Do you have the advertisement? I do. May I see it? All right, and then what happens? So... We're all excited because it's going for a better price than I can possibly get it anywhere, and everybody loves a bargain, and especially when it's going to the school. <clears throat> and we even, just to show you just how serious we were, we were foregoing skiing on a sunny day. Who's we? Me and the kids, the kids and I. Wait, were the kids? Were the, kids <laughs> the kids are sitting there watching the The kids the agreed computer. to forego skiing so you could get just a printer a, at a good price? No, just for a what? few minutes. Where did you get your kids? Because I can tell you that would not be happening in my house. <laughs> it was just for till the- Because it's so thrilling? It was, it was for us. Because you, you that, tell me that you, in, your, in your complaint, you actually use the phrase that this is thrilling and exciting and yeah. go ahead, tell me about it. I want to hear somebody I, else's because for me, it's just stressful. To so me, I just it's wanted just, to. It was, it was fun till, uh, till what happened afterwards. But during right. the time, we were very excited because. So, and, so and, are, are you the guy who presses like one second before the time that I press? <laughs> and, I mean, one second after the time that I press, which is one second before the auction closes and then that's it? That's the big ah. Uh. That's you? That's the. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So we finally win it, and it's it's how much? One hundred and fifty-seven fifty. Okay. So and you immediately pay on PayPal, and then to your surprise, what happens? And then I immediately write him because I saw he was in Brooklyn. It was a pickup. It wasn't a shipping. It was a pickup. So. I'm excited again because I'm going to bring the kids. We're going to make a day of it and go to my mom in Brooklyn. Who's okay, you guys really need to go old. skiing. <laughs> okay, you do, it's good to go visit your mom, but then go skiing, you know? All right, go on. So I contacted him by email, and, and I basically said, very excited to, to get this printer, and I told him what it was for. And then I'm waiting and waiting for response, get no response. The next thing I know is bid canceled, money refunded to PayPal. Hmm. 
And my reaction is, no, you're not going to do this. So I immediately emailed him. And I, I, I basically said, um, we, what happened? Right. And he, what does he tell you? And I get no response. So on eBay, you could find out what the person's phone number is. So I called him on the phone. Do you do a lot of eBay? No, not that. Well, I, actually, I, I do, but not like, I don't contact sellers. No, I just meant, <laughs> do you buy a lot of things on eBay? Yeah, I buy and sell. Okay, you buy and sell? I don't sell that much. Okay, go ahead. Unfortunately, I buy more than I sell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have the, good, the, the wherewithal to do it, that's a good thing. Go ahead. Again, I consider it's, it's fun um, to an extent. <laughs> okay. So we, we finally uh, get, um, I get him on the phone. And I said, what happened? And he said, well, I have a kid. And uh, he put a toy, I don't know if it was a girl or a boy, but put a toy in it and broke the printer. So I'm, needless to say, I'm very disappointed. I'm like. You're probably also suspicious. I was suspicious. But can, on eBay, can you put a reserve? Yes. You okay. can, and, and there wasn't. There was no reserve. Or okay. buy it now. You could do all that. Okay, go ahead. So that's why I was so excited, because I won. Right, you know? so, what, so he said it's broken, and then you said. And so I didn't accuse him of anything. I just said, I have a business, and we have copy repair person that repairs printers and copiers, and he'll fix it. I don't okay. care, I'll take it. I'll take it And broken. then he says. He said, you know, I have other printers that are fine, um, I have a Toshiba, I have this and that. And I said, you know, I didn't research those. And he gives me a couple. I write them down. I look them up quickly on, on Google. Whatever. And they're like 10 years old, 12 years old. They're not the printer I bought. I'm not even close. One of them was a copy this machine. Printer, this printer was how old? This printer, I think three, four years old, maybe. Okay, so you call him back and you tell him, I don't want the other printers, I want this one, I'll, I'll still, I'll take it broken. And, and he, he says. Take, he, he knew my number by then. And he, he what? Was, he knew my number so by then. So he blocked then. you? So, no, he wasn't returning, he wasn't he answering the phone. All right, like, so right did you call after. him from a different number? No, I should have. That, that's what people do. <laughs> All right, so what's going on? What's going on? The printer was damaged. My, my daughter put something in the paper tray that was, and the printer was damaged. Uh, how old's your daughter? Six. What did she put in the what did a six year old put in the paper tray of you a printer pull. that you're selling and you have other printers? Why would your daughter be playing with your printer? Oh, this actually was on the floor in my basement. Uh-huh. I left it there. I was like, whatever. And so it was damaged. He called me up, I know where you live, I'm coming to pick it do up. Do you do a lot of eBay? Um, not printers. Do you do like, a lot of eBay? A little bit. What's a little bit? How often do you maybe do it? a few transactions a week? Oh, that's a lot. Mm. All right. So you know the rules of eBay and all that? Yes. Okay. So could you have done a reserve on this one? I could have done a reserve. There was no reason for me to do a reserve. Okay, because you didn't care. Yeah. I'm okay. Just happy to get so, rid of it. So, because because I, I have to take away from my head, or you have to persuade me to let go in yeah. my head of the idea that you were like, "Darn it, 157 is not enough for this one. I should have listed it higher." That's no, not what's going more on. More than glad to get rid of it. All right. So you find out that the printer's broken seconds after he buys it. Once I saw it was sold, I was like, "Okay, let me go take a look at the printer. You know, make sure everything's good," and something was something was damaged with it. So jamming. why didn't you reach out to him and tell him, listen, there's a problem? Okay, is eBay, are the people on it generally on the up and up or is it questionable? Well, I think it's questionable. You have to make sure you check the reviews, make sure you have everything tight and understand what you're buying before you make the purchase. Fair point, but generally, is it safe, not safe? Is it perilous? I think it's pretty safe. You just have to be careful. Like the guy was saying, you have to just read reviews and like make sure the buyer knows what they're talking about. Fair enough, what do you think? I think it's buyer beware. Um, it, it's one thing to, to go to a, a, an established brick and mortar uh, business. It's quite another when you're on the internet. It's true because you have no concept of what they've done before. That's correct. Got your point, going inside the courtroom. You refunded him the money. That's how we found out there was a problem. What I'm saying is, wouldn't it be more polite to send the guy an email and say, listen, I, you know, especially since he had just emailed you about how excited he was, you know, email him, listen, I just went down, I just tested it and it's broken. What, wouldn't that have been more polite? He Instead of him it. having to track you down? And then after the first phone call, you ignoring his phones? No, there was no, there was no, um, I, I, I saw the pay, payment. He won the payment right away, I can't, right, a few minutes later, checked it, canceled the payment once I realized I was paid. Okay, and- um, Before uh, any, I'm sorry. Say it again. Before any of the emails back and forth, before okay. the phone calls, he started calling me up. And now he says he, that he told you he'll just take it broken. 
I don't want to sell it broken. Why? Because if the machine's not working, he's going to sue me for it. No, he's not. All you have to do is have him agree that he's taking it broken. How can he, he signs a release or he so, just, the, how hard is that? I mean, you know. To me, it you, sounds very fishy. He's like, I bought all the toner for it already. I'm going to fix it. I don't care what it is. I don't care. I'm like, why, well, why does that sound fishy? That's like the perfect, you can't sell that and he wants to buy it broken. Do you still have it? Yes. Do you want to sell it broken if he signs a release that says that he will not sue you? Uh, if he really wants it. <laughs> no, because, you know, right, because, I mean, I, if you're a businessman, I'm just wondering if there's a reason why. Maybe you, I, 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 I mean, look, I don't know. You know, and I have another question, you know, because you, 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 you feel like you did nothing wrong, right? Absolutely. And, uh, in fact, in your answer to the complaint, you, t t you talk about how, um, what if this were a sale of a house and I changed my mind? Well, it's a big difference of a sale of the house because the whole contract. It's the written. worst example you could have given right. because and if I, <laughs> if I, I'm in contract to buy your house and you change your mind, I will sue you right. and you will pay me. That's how it works. So, in, so in a, the normal world, that is contract uh, offer acceptance and mm -hmm. that equals a contract. Is it different on eBay? I actually looked up the uh, the terms on eBay. Right. And the and term says I could cancel a, uh, a sale for 30 days. Ha hand it over. Let me see that. And are you familiar with that? Yes, Did you ever look it up afterwards, after I, no, the fact? No, no, I looked that up before. And this, why would that not apply? Because it's not real estate. There's two things. Real no, forget estate real estate. Is, <laughs> for the, why would the terms of eBay not apply to your eBay transaction? Oh, the terms of eBay don't say that. You can cancel a transaction up to 30 days after the sale. Wait, keep going. Even if your buyer has already paid for the item. Keep going. You won't be able to cancel a transaction if the buyer has already opened an item Item not received request, that means that you hadn't sent it, right? Dispute. And that didn't happen here. Or right. you've already opened an unpaid item case, which also didn't happen. What else did you want me to keep going at? There's, there's more terms. Okay, why don't you give me what you've got, because there are no more terms here. It just tells you how to cancel the transaction. Right. Ah, don't worry about it. We'll let the buyer know. So apparently on planet eBay, it's not like it is in the rest of uh, contract law. But let's talk about something. The guy really wants it for $157, uh, and it's trash to you. He was harassing me. I got the last text message I sent him. I sent him back a text message. I know, because he thinks that you... But I know, but, but I want you to do something for me yeah. a second. Imagine for a moment that you had a sale on eBay, and the guy just decided, you know, to cancel it, and that wasn't fair to you, and you felt slighted. I would be upset. Right, that's what I'm saying. So, like, don't hold against him. Forget what you're holding against him because he was nasty. Because he, he was nasty because he was wrong, and he, but he thought he was right and you were wrong, he, right? Because you're both honorable men. You're sitting there, like he says, I can't believe how dishonorable he is. And then it turns out, no, you're right within the rules. I agree with you. I'm just asking, would you want to take the broken printer off your hands or don't you? It's 157 dollars. I felt something fishy about it. Say it again. I felt very fishy about it. No, why I know why you did it. I'm it? telling you, I'll draft the release. Yeah. Trust me, he cannot come yeah. back. Do you still want it or no? I do. You do? Okay, and do you want to sell it to him at I one don't, want, I don't want to deal with him anymore. After getting phone calls at 10.30 at night. Okay. All I don't right. Want to deal with him you know, and maybe just, you're right. Maybe, maybe, maybe there was another reason that, you know, is, is foreign to me, but it doesn't matter because these are the rules of eBay. My, my verdict is for the defendant. Thank you. Well, as you heard, he has a right to cancel. What are you going to do? Yeah, I don't think they have a right to cancel. They can cancel, but... Uh, only within eBay, they won't lose their account. So I think mm -hmm. it's still is within the New York jurisdiction. Right, right. So you don't believe you lost the case then? Well, I know I know I lost the yeah, case. Yeah, because it, the judge ruled that he has a right to cancel. Right. So I guess he does. As an interpretation through All the right. eBay rules. So why do you think he didn't sell you this one right now? Clearly because he, it was it was Here. too cheap. Oh, right now? Here in the courtroom when he had a no, chance. You said no he'd take it. No clue. Huh. Because right. he never wanted to sell it for that, for that price. Okay. Around the corner this way. Okay. All right. Step on in here. Are you, you know, right here. Uh, well, you win the case. Uh, why wouldn't you sell him the printer? I don't. After he was calling me up at 1030 at night, harassing me for literally 24 hours. I well, that's because he didn't get the printer. But if you... I don't... $900 to sue me because I didn't give him a printer? I mean, I think that's... I'm scared he'll trip on my sidewalk and sue me. What do you think, Harvey? <laughs> okay, Kurt, uh, good lesson here. Uh, when you buy or sell on eBay, you got to read the rules before you do it. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.